YouTube, what's going on everybody? This is Rick. I just want to give you guys a uh, little bit of info here and a particular situation I ran into uh, following up on a guy that diagnosed one of these, a bad three-way reversing valve. Now, I've seen these have problems in the past before getting stuck in one position or the other, uh, acting funny, um, you know, getting stuck and then opening up and freeing up and what have you. So, I mean, those are just a couple of case scenarios that you know I've seen it doesn't happen terribly often but generally that's what you see you know get stuck in the cooling mode get stuck in the heating mode it doesn't go from one to the other um, you know I've seen them I think in one particular case where it actually blocked discharge enough to where it just did not uh, circulate and that might have been a specific style of valve but this is a uh, train uh, precedent uh, I believe it's precedent it might actually be a Voyager uh, probably Voyager, a Reliatel rooftop unit, and um, the problem with this one was it was running okay in the heating mode, uh, would not cool. Send it into cooling mode, pressures equalize, uh, amperage stays at about 9 amps, which is uh, pretty low for 33 amps operational max and uh, ampacity. So, uh, you know, definitely a uh, a head scratcher and was diagnosed as a bad three-way valve for some reason wasn't working the cooling mode and I came out to do the valve now I checked a couple things because the guy that diagnosed this thing hadn't been doing it as long as I have and uh, one thing we I did notice that I had asked him if he had checked which was the suction line and whether or not it was heating up and was bypassing discharge gas directly from the discharge line uh, through to the suction line which is what he suspected uh, but couldn't tell me about the suction temperature so it was in fact uh, getting hung up uh, valve wise internally and bypassing discharge gas from the discharge of the compressor over to the suction side. Now I'm going to show you the inside of this valve and see if I can prop this thing up so I can show you what's going on inside this thing because it's a new one for me. Alright so on this side you can see the Teflon seal. I cut the valve off at the top uh, or where the top ports are and uh, you can see that Teflon seal in there. I don't know if I can get this thing to focus, but yeah, there. That's a good one. All right, that's a good seal. So this is the U or the line to line port right here. So right now we're partially open to this port, partially open to this port. Uh, this port is the larger line that goes back to the evaporator coil. Uh, cooling would be your suction line. Uh, this center line actually goes directly to the compressor. And then, uh-oh, what do we have here? A Teflon seal that has actually folded upwards and is essentially just letting this thing... Let's see if I can get the light right. Yeah, that's a good one. And now, <clears throat> with the way it is right now, our discharge comes in and uh, can actually go from where this port is, from where this line is blown out here, over to... The discharge or the suction line here so discharge was coming up through here going over here now when the valve went that way and i won't try to do it because uh i'm just going to screw up my camera shot here um it would open up from this port to this port all right so that is essentially allowing suction gas to return uh or discharge gas to come out and uh go to the evaporator I apologize I'm actually showing you some of this stuff upside down because of where the solenoid is configured here but uh, this line right here uh, would be going out to your uh, evaporator in the heating mode so when the valve goes this way this opens all the way up and this one and this one actually seal up when it goes this way it doesn't quite make it all the way and it still allows discharge gas to go from here over to here and that's what was causing the problem. So definitely a new one. Never seen this happen before. If anybody else has seen it happen, uh, good catch if you got it and you got it changed out. Um, like I said, I've seen them hung up and stuck and pulled them apart and they pretty much look okay. Um, but this is the first one I've actually physically seen a problem with like this. So it looks like that seal just blew out. And um, yeah, great catch from a guy that found it. And we're gonna fire this unit up and see how the new reversing valve works. Thanks YouTube, take it easy.